McLeod, an illustrator from Toronto. Uh, I do work for magazines and newspapers. Um, my stuff's been published in New York Times, Men's Health, um, Source. My techniques, um, I kind of grew up uh, drawing from comic books and drawing in a comic book style. And uh, then I started doing paintings and things like that uh, when, I, when I got into college. But as I started working for new, uh, newspapers and magazines, the deadlines were so quick that I had to focus more on drawing and, and doing something super fast. So I kind of got inspired more by uh, uh, Chinese calligraphy and, 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 you know, scroll painting and stuff like that. Trying to, trying to make some really uh, bold lines and say stuff with as many strokes, as few strokes as I could. I was definitely a, a Marvel Comics fan, Spider-Man of course, and uh, you know I loved a lot of genre stuff that Dark Horse did with uh, Aliens and Predator and all that kind of stuff. I just ate it all up. And uh, uh, when Wu-Tang Clan came out, I started getting into to kung fu movies and things like that and started, you know, because I couldn't find any comics with some, with, with great old school kung fu style. That's when I started uh, doing my own. I did a kung fu themed comic book called Infinite Kung Fu, which is going to be coming out next year with Top Shelf Comics. And uh, it's a 400 page, uh, you know, martial arts madness uh, thing that mixes a few genres, a uh, little um, exploitation flicks and, and, and zombies and, and all kinds of stuff, but really with uh, Kung Fu as a, as a central background. So it's just trying to create, you know, the, the classic villains and everything. Uh, and, you know, translate it, what I saw in the movies, as best I can onto, onto the comic book uh, format. The poster has portraits of 469 uh, rappers on it. And that goes back to um, you know people who who rap said kind of raps before rap was called rap. Uh, I guess it, uh, you know Isaac Hayes and even it starts with Cap Calloway. It started out as a telephone called Doodle, where I was just drawing uh, you know Biz Marquee and a couple of people uh, lining them up as I was talking on the phone, and I, and I thought it was a kind of a cool idea. So. Uh, I first, a few years ago, did a poster with about 150 portraits all lined up on it. And, um, you know, when I printed it, people loved it and everyone just loved to, to, to pour over it and, 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 you know, see who was on it, who was missing. And uh, I, I knew I had something, so when I, when I got rid of those, I wanted to do a more complete version because one of the things I found was everyone was always trying to, you know, pick who was missing off of it. So this one, my goal with this one was to try and, you know, get almost everyone on. It's impossible because there's so many people that, that are important. I'm super thankful to, to, to grow up uh, at the time that I did. Uh, and I would say that the, the core time when I was listening to rap was, you know, 88, uh, 90 to 94, 95. And, uh, you know, those are obviously some of my favorite years. Uh, Big Daddy Kane was a, was one of my favorites. Uh, Drez from Black Sheep, um, uh, Cypress Hill. Um, I, I remember just like dreaming about uh, you know t-shirts and haircuts that I that I could uh, invent and things like that. So so that's kind of cool. Um, I grew up uh, in Windsor, which is across from Detroit. So thankfully, I got like you know amazing radio stations and uh, the video music box, which was uh, was great for finding out. Uh, about the good stuff and not just uh, the stuff that you'd see on regular TV. I wanted to make it, you know, complete, you know, uh, real complete for the, the heads, but also like informational for, for someone who, who, you know, who might not know the history and might not want to read a, a, a book on the old school or something like that. They can just have it all right there. And that's kind of why I decided to put on the back uh, just a smidgen of information on each artist, you know, to explain what groups they're from, uh, what's their, you know, main song to check out, and uh, you know what they what they did. So it's kind of like a trading cards in a way, but it's all in one one piece. Just basically trying to get a whole history on one piece of paper for um, for for informational purposes <laughs> and. Uh, and they hang on your wall. So to see the poster or to, to uh, find out how to buy a copy, um, my website is kaganmcleod.com, K-A-G-A-N-M-C-L-E-O-D. And you just got disconnected.